Lightroom is sticky as an application. And by that I mean if you had several catalogs, the one that opens is the last one that you closed it on. So we're in the catalog that we created in the previous lesson. Let's talk about exporting. If you go up to the word file, you have export, which is a generic kind of what do you want to do here. You have export with previous. I already did an export and I want to do another one using the same parameters. Export with a preset, which is kind of nice. We'll talk about presets later, but those are nice. Export as catalog. Now before we do that, what you want to do is decide what you want to export. Now whether you know this or not, when we put these in, they're all JPEGs. Every one of these is a JPEG, so remember that. Let's say we want to pull up this first tier right here, this first row. So I can click here and hold the Shift key down and click over here, which means select contiguous. Now if I select this one up here again and hold the Shift key way down here, it would select all those. But if the images that you're working with are non-contiguous, what you want to do is hold the control key down, that's the command key on a Mac, and if I do that, then I can select whatever I want. But let's go back to our original premise. We want this one all the way to here, so I shift click and select those. Now you might also ask the question, why are they in this order? What is this file name, whatever? If you look down here, there's the sort and it says capture time. It's when they were captured. If you click here, you have different kinds of ways that you can sort them. Let's worry about that later. Let's stay here and we're going to move these or export them using an export feature. File and go down to export. Now in export everything is here. Even the presets are over here. We don't have any yet but we will. Where do you want to export it to? Hard drive? How about an email to a client? Or put them or burn them onto a CD or DVD? Let's stick to hard drive. It's telling me export four files which is what we selected. The export location. Specific folder. Now this one's nice. It's choose folder later. What does that mean? It doesn't ask you for the folder until you click the export button, which is good if you're doing a preset. You want to change that. Or same folder as original. Let's do specific and let's click choose. Now I'm going to make a brand new folder on my desktop. Come down here to new folder, Mac or Windows. You'll see that button. And let's call this Lightroom Exports. Click create. Click choose. Now do you want to put them into a subfolder in there? And that makes sense to me. So I'll leave that at catalog one, but I'll add exports. Now remember one thing. We are not exporting a catalog here. We are exporting actual physical images. Existing files, ask what to do. There's nothing in there. But if it was a duplicate, it would say, what do you want to do here? That's actually a good thing to do. But you could say choose a new name for the exported file overwrite without warning or skip. I'm going to say ask what to do which is the default. Down here the file naming. Do you want to rename them? You can do anything you want. Let's just leave them at the same name. Gives you the example down here. The extension can be lower or uppercase. In most cases that isn't really a problem anymore but I do prefer lowercase. This selection that we had didn't have any video so that's grayed out. Down here file settings. Now this is where it gets to be fun. I am working with JPEGs, but I don't have to leave them as JPEGs. What if I want to convert them into PSDs? Now what would be the advantage to that? Well PSDs support multiple layers, transparency, all kinds of things. There's a DNG option or just leave them as the originals. I'm going PSD with these things. Now Profoto RGB in my opinion is the best one to use of those three. It's the newest relatively speaking. It's been out for a couple of years, but it's the newest. It has a wider gamut of colors and more control. I like it. I'm going to leave it at Profoto. And I'm going to turn this down to 8 bits. These are JPEG images. That's not really going to help me. So I'm going to turn that down. Now do you want to resize them? We'll leave them alone. Do you want to do any sharpening? Typically I don't like to do that. Do you want any metadata like copyright, stuff like that? We'll talk more about metadata later, but you can add that if you want to. And you have a watermark down here. And finally, post-processing. After export, what do you want to do? Uh, do nothing. Show in the Finder. Show in Adobe Photoshop Creative Cloud or 6, which were my two applications that I set up in Preferences, or open in another application. I'm just going to leave that blank. Do nothing. And then click Export. Now you can see it working up here. Now let's go ahead and open it to see what we've got. Now here it is, Catalog 1 Exports. And there they are, and they are indeed PSDs. Let's go ahead and get out of here and go back. 
let's say we want to add these right here. So we come up here, but this time, instead of filling out the form, we say export with previous. Does it automatically? You can see it up here. Let's go in and see what it is. Added those. Converted them to PSDs because that's the last thing that we did. Let's go back into Lightroom. The other ones up here, we have export with a preset. Now that means just do it. Convert them to DNGs, email, whatever you want. Or export as a catalog. Now we have one catalog, don't we? The one we just made. If you want to create another catalog based on images that are in this catalog, you can use that option too. So once you've created a catalog, you have a lot of ways that you can work with your images inside of Lightroom. And as you can see, you have a lot of ways that you can export them once you're finished.